Welcome today to our video devotional. It's Thursday, March the 16th, 2017. All week we've been discussing the peace that surpasses all understanding. We talked about how it will be beyond our comprehension. It transcends our understanding. It's a supernatural, spiritual thing that happens when we're rightly related to God. And in the context of the promise of the peace that surpasses all understanding, there are certain steps or conditions that we meet that assures this peace to accompany and guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. And so I'm repeating the verses before we, we talk about this third step that's recorded, or this third condition that's recorded for us in Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. So the third condition, the third step in our text to receiving the peace that surpasses all understanding is supplication. I don't want this to be offensive to you, but I, I believe supplication is prayer on steroids. I, I believe that supplication carries much more intensity, much more appeal, much more imploring, and much more pleading with God. We are not casual when we are intense. We dig in and we pursue God with such passion and strength until we are assured that God is going to answer Many times we're too busy in life to bring this kind of power to our prayer. And I believe thus we minimize our experience of peace. When we truly trust God with our lives and believe he desires to, uh, to assist us in our life's difficulties, we will not let go of God concerning our cares. And I believe that is this intensity. Some call it intercession, but I believe supplication carries that same note. We get really intense with God in prayer. I believe Jacob in the Old Testament, in the book of Genesis, chapter 32, verse 26, he, he dealt with this very issue when he was wrestling with God and he would not let go of God. And he said these words to him, I will not let you go unless you bless me. I don't know if you've ever been in that place. I believe that God sometimes desires a display of our trust and sincerity in order to release his blessing into our lives, that we're really sincere. There's been many times that personally I've, I've prayed a prayer and never repeated the prayer again because it was like oh, almost a wish or something. It, it really wasn't a, a deeply concerning thing in my life. And later I'd be reminded of it and and think, oh, it's a good thing that I didn't press on because I really didn't want God to answer that prayer. But when we really do have something that concerns us, that's when we need to get into supplication with God. You can read the story about Jabez in 1 Chronicles 4, 9, and 10 and the intensity of his request before God that God would bless him. In my thinking, we all, myself included, have become way too casual in our prayer. We either see God as our special genie who we simply make wishes to, or we see him as a, as a big Santa Claus who must give us gifts all the time. Remember, God desires fellowship with us. He longs for you and I to have an intimately deep, connected relationship with him. He wants a manifestation of our faith in him. And when we approach him with supplication concerning the things that are breaking our heart or burdens for us or are harassing us, God is moved on our behalf, provides for us, and just maybe, first of all, on his list of provision is divine peace. Would you describe your prayer as intense? Have you maybe been too casual, less respectful of God in your approach to him? Come boldly today through our high priest, Jesus Christ, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of our need. 
And may we take our cares with intensity, with a pleading and imploring of God. We need your answer. Let's pray. Lord, today, I'm sure someone listening to this is, there's a burden that seems overly well, overwhelming. It's, it's concerned them. It's, it's caused them to have anxiety. And you said, be anxious for nothing. And even now, we join them in their prayer before your throne. God, hear our concern. God, we're going to stay until we've heard you provide the peace in our spirit that passes understanding. God, we thank you today for understanding that we need your intervention. We confess we need your help. We can't do this by ourselves. And we give you the glory for releasing this burden from us because our trust has grown, our faith has grown, and we see you providing the answer. Thank you. God, we give you glory. You have been so faithful. You are a marvelous, awesome, tremendous God. And we assign the praise that's due your name from our hearts to you today in thanksgiving, anticipating the answer to our requests. In Jesus' name, amen. God's going to give you an answer. Wait for his peace. Keep interceding till you've received it. God bless you.